like such a dick. I don't lose. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Hey, Solomon. Right I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss.
like this space. It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No pole feet. Okay? Let's go. to meet my boss, pal. Mr. Pelosi. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> For the gray one or the orange one? All right, spring tan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. We are not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are! Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security! I'm Solomon's assistant! You're more sensitive than you let on! I can tell! This is not how you negotiate! Can I just say I was just in this for the promise of strong trucks? I don't want a new deal, so much has to be off the show entirely! Well, I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well! He's out of control! Put on the brake, Slick! You gotta think about this, man! Enough! <laughs> Enough! Alright, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money! I'll do anything! Okay! See? That wasn't so hard! Now let's get you back to work! Hey, Milton! What? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. 
Would I be in pain? No, you should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm your apologizing. I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? Wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I... I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Whew. Ah! Hell yeah. Almost a car, amigo. Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> you know, a little up, a little down, Doc. So what about the problem areas? <sighs> okay, well, look, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're awful. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. They won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. They're doing... Really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. There's a part of me, Doc, I just can't seem to control. Hmm. 
What about your sexual problems, Michael? Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. So, hey, you know, as you can see, I'm kind of doing better. You know? Not perfect, mind you, but... better. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. Shit, that whip is hot. You scaly fucker! What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits! Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. You finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop! Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey! You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. You two hey, seven how about millimeters. we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right.
Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. What happened? Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They ain't gonna stop us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit! Get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Well, I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess up the cars, you hear me? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devin Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devin we got them calls. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. So Devin's lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South LA. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you. Asshole. Hey, you dudes are in the stolen ride. You ain't got no excuses for being way back there. You ain't gonna have that lead for much longer. Hey, Frank. Yeah. What did I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> 
if you say so. You know what, right? Before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing. It feels like it come full circle. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. Nah, no, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'd be at anyway. <laughs> the lead horse always burns out before the end. Hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they were. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can... Big things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Hey! 
Hop in. Shit! I don't want to go to the fucking bell again. Take me to a nice, secluded spot. What are you looking for, Sugar? a big one. Mm, mm, tastes so fucking good. something more baby I feel like I can really talk to you come back and see me Are you serious? This motherfucker is fly. Glad you like it. As I told you, it's yours. Are you seriously serious? For the fifth time, yes. But well, I gotta go. I'll be in touch about our little venture. Man, good looking. Yeah. This motherfucker. Woo! The answer's no. I can't holler at my boy now? Thought you might want to know, being a high roller and all, they finally put the towing company up for sale. You know the business. 
can make you some good paper. And you can keep JB on as a driver when he gets his head straight. Shit, I think about it. What's going on? Our friend Poppy Mitchell has just been spotted in a high-speed chase with the cops! Like, like right now, bro! Apparently she's wasted! Get after them! See if you can snag a shot of her getting busted! I guess that's her! Get myself into this.
photo. What can I say? A great journalism. Our little sex tape sent sloppy poppy on a full blown meltdown. How does it feel to be on the front lines, dude? Shit, it ain't exactly Iraq, man. And you know what? I might feel a little less degraded if I was fucking getting paid. Ah, all in good time. The truth comes first. I'll be in touch. Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. That must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Girl, you won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. Hey, baby, what can I get for ten bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, baby. You miss me? I was starting to think you weren't coming. Oh, I always come.
Hey, man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. Recognition shit already? Bottom line. 
Guess who's getting a work-related injury and suing your ass for six figures? That's right, this guy! Crew guys on a rooftop going at it. Lady downstairs in the bikini. Let's see if we can connect the dots. I got you, you creep. It's a free country. I know my rights. It's him! You got him! That's Just not shot it off! She wanted me to look! You're a very sick man. Keep telling yourself that! She wanted not it! Yet. If she wanted it, why are you sneaking around? Punch the creep! That's the buzz! You're both getting off on this! Don't try to deny it! I think you need help, man. Come in, Franklin! Suspect not in the area! I repeat, suspect not found in the area! Alright, alright! might be a couple blocks east of here. Roger that. Hey, the pervert! You are! Swingers! Can you pretend you're enjoying it? I'm already very insecure. Not this isn't suspect. helping. I'm paying you a decent wage. I expect some enthusiasm. Hey, Jai, yeah, you disrespecting my girl, man. I've already paid her for a service. This yeah. is bullshit. Well, shit, now you're paying not our for the guy. service of me not shooting you in the face, you disrespectful fuck. I've already maxed out my ATM withdrawal. And you out of luck. Speaking to my woman like that, huh? What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, uh, shit, he was being rude, man. That ain't right. Disrespectful, man. You insane! He was just a John! You need to stop being so overprotective! You meant to be a pimp and you keep killing my customers! Zaffo! Zaffo! Oh, the glass! My glass!
your sector. Uh, well, this is chopper unit three. Reports are greatly exaggerated. Over. Your boy Chad very nearly totaled the score. Oh, yeah, that was close. Okay, I see the motherfucker, man. I got this. Hey, where is he, man? Suspect back on Del Perro, heading west. <laughs> Get a move on, Franklin. He's getting away from you. Hey, where this fucking asshole at? Reckless driver sighted crossing Dorset Drive. <laughs> Suspect sighted near the Life Invader offices. car might be worth something, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's your... Suspect down! Fine work, ground unit! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. God, why not? Time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. So, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. Man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there. 
there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, <laughs> all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, then, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! Stoner. Whoa, who changed my ringtone? Hey, look, man, that car in La Poeta is a fucking hoopty. The engine is fucking shot, man. I'm gonna grab the stash and get the fuck out of here. No, no, it could be a trap, but I need that car. The movement depends on it. You'll have to push it or something. Are you out of your damn mind? Hey, do it for your state. Do it for freedom. Do it for nature. Ignite the fight. You been igniting the fight too motherfucking much, dawg. Thank you. 
Mom, I've said all there is to say! What? Man, get your ass down here! I'm outside with this junker you made me drag across town! Look, just leave it there. I can't come out now. The satellites! I mean, they're scanning our brains and tracking our heartbeats through the internet. Go now while you still can! Man, I'm wasting my fucking time. No, you're a hero, a green warrior! We're changing lives! Inch. 